Uh, I'll just wait for Harrison to join me. I don't know if you have already seen me. Uh, let me send Harrison. Uh, Harrison Muzi. Mm. All right, guys. So here live. If if you guys can turn down the the volume of the Instagram, please. And Harrison, when you can, ah, oh, there you are. Perfect. Okay. So yeah. if you can, just awesome. awesome. So guys, we're here live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, Harrison, just need to turn down a little bit the your Instagram yeah. one as much as you can. Okay. Awesome. So we're here live for a live workout. This is a special edition because uh, most of the cities in Australia are in restriction. I know we're not in restriction in Melbourne, but uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome Harrison Muzi. Harrison, thank you so much for being for providing us this workout today. Oh, hello, guys. Thank you, the doctor, and thank you, Will, for being here. And it will be a pleasure to, to share my knowledge and to train you. That's awesome. And, and we also have Will Santana. Will is not on Instagram, but uh, he's on YouTube and Facebook. And also, are you guys watch on Instagram? If you came to jump on YouTube to give a, to have a better quality of the image, Will, welcome and thanks for being a part of this workout. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for the opportunity to join you guys. It will be my pleasure. Oh, Will, for you guys that don't know, Will is an actor, Brazilian actor. Will, how many years ago did you move to Australia? Uh, I moved since 2013, a total of seven years. Yeah, and now I'm here for good. Awesome. Are you a permanent resident already, citizen, or not I'm yet? Citizen. Yeah, I'm a citizen. Australian citizen. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank uh, you so much. Uh, all right. So, Harrison, how is the, before we start, to, while people are getting ready at home, if you guys want to get a water bottle, a uh, towel, a uh, mat, Harrison, tell us how your preseason is going. How is your new team in Thailand going? Oh, uh, I've been here about um, three months in, in Thailand, and it's a new experience. I'm very excited to be in Asia working with uh, team sports for the first time. Uh, actually, uh, I have worked with Japan Japanese national team uh, a long time ago, but uh, with a club, with uh, it's the first time, and uh, we have started three three months ago, and it's going pretty well. Uh, we, we are just expecting the beginning of the season. The competitions uh, should start uh, in the first of August. But we still don't know yet uh, for sure because of the issues of about coronavirus. So we we are still waiting some some official information by the federation. That's all right. So oh, we wish you guys best of luck for the season. I'm sure you're gonna kill it as usual. You are a superstar. Uh, let's start training and then during the breaks we have a chat. So let's just start getting work workouts. Harry, so I pass the ball to you and me and Will will just follow okay. whatever you say. Well, okay, I let let's start. Uh, and also, we have some music. Here. The music is true. Let me just the organize uh, for Instagram too. No worries. Okay, guys. Um, first of all, I want to ask you to sit down to start with some mobility drills to start our session. Okay, let's sit down. Uh, Andre, please, uh, can you see me? Yeah, I can see you well, no problem. Maybe a little better like that. Okay, come on, guys. In this position, please, let's start moving. Okay, internal rotation hip mobility all right now cross your leg please and and move like that okay Taking consider that the, the pump don't touch the floor, okay? Mm -hmm. So six movements is enough. And then you can change, right? 
second, I'm going to move it to this down here. Okay, let's change. 90, 90 position, it means 90 degrees, okay, and 90 degrees, both knees, all right? So, we go ahead, okay, like that, in two, three seconds, breathing, and then we turn the trunk like that, all right? So, look, my right knee is in front, then I make the torsion with my left side, to, to my left side, okay? So, go ahead with me, come on. One, two, three, and then come and torsion. One, two, and go again. One, two, three, and then torsion. All right, let's check. You can continue, please. Like that, one more, one more, and then you can change sides. Okay, the other side, and go. And it's like a precision for me, Harrison. Uh, <laughs> Maybe your thoracic mobility not so good like now, right now, but we can no, improve it. <laughs> okay, Will, don't worry. Come on, guys, two more. All right. Okay. Now, lie down, please. Hands on the floor, straight legs, it means straight knee. So, raise your leg, raise your leg six times, okay? Like that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now you can change. All right. Now, bend your knee. So the position is the same, but now you can like hug your knee, okay? Like that, and then back to the position. So six times. Doing like that. Should I put my foot on the ground after or should I keep it there? Sorry, I didn't understand. Should I put should I put my foot on the ground or should I keep it there a little bit? Yes, you can put it on the ground, no problem. Just to remember people who are at home, we are live both uh, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So join us in this training session. Okay, my friends. Now, keep the position, okay? Knee bent on 90 degrees. Put your hands on the floor, head on the floor too, and now open and close, doing an internal rotation and external rotation, okay? All the time like that. If you feel like clack on, on the, the low back zone, don't worry. <laughs> like that. Six it's the age. If you need a clack, if you have a crack, it's the age. If you feel clack and don't walk anymore, it's not normal. So call a doctor, <laughs> call 911. I don't know. Hey, hey we will not ask how old you are, but how old were you when you came to Australia? <laughs> I'm not quite here because this is so easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just. Okay. 
ओके नाउ द लंच पोजीशन इफ यू हैव एट होम अ हार्ड सरफेस यू कैन यूज वन लाइक दैट और अ मैट्रेस समथिंग soft to put your knee okay but if you don't have uh don't worry i think it's to not cause a problem so lunge position if i put my left uh, leg in front i will put both hands and turn looking to my hand all the all the time sorry so six times like that thoracic mobility yes the other hand you can keep in front don't move yes good will like that will try not to move your knee okay try to keep right. your knee in the same position all the time okay now you can change do the same thing on the other side and go yes look all the time open go as far as possible you should feel stretching uh, pectoral okay stand up please All right. Now progressing with dynamic warm up, okay? Now we should do the each warm, okay? A little bit less, a little bit more. The mountain climber. I will demonstrate to you. Okay. Position like that, straight body. Now, I try to touch the floor. without bent my knees okay and i will walk with my hands when i arrive on this position so in the mountain climber position i will do one and two then i back to the position but don't remove my fingers on the floor okay and go again straight body and then one and two and back to the position okay just one All set right. of repetitions let's go one set of uh, how many reps sorry 10 repetitions go so knee one two don't forget the mountain climber will go again okay stop and knee bent it okay So here we have um active stretching, dynamic stretching and also core activation. Okay, can continue. Keep doing, keep doing. Come on the doctor 1, 2 and back. Okay. Don't remove your fingers. I don't I don't go all the way up. I just come back, stretch my hands. Mhm. Mm And then go again. Yes. Okay. Oh. All right. When you finish 10, you can stop as you are not doing at the same time. So <laughs> All right. It's just warm up, guys. Come on. Now, the next one, progressing with with the warm up, the the, the dynamic warm up. Now, the lunge with rotation, okay? 10 movements, 5 each side. So, lunge and rotation. Back to the position. lunge and rotation all right so only pay attention when you, you are squatting not to hit your your knee on the floor okay so slow down this movement 
Don't don't do it in a hurry. Come on, let's go with me. One and back. Go the other side. Two and back. So I, do I touch my on the ground or I don't touch it? Can touch, but just pay attention not to to hit on the floor. Okay, come on, can continue, guys. Ooh. Rotate. Don't rotate your knee, Will. Keep your knee. Yeah. Yes, like that. I would say Dima. Dima is like very nice, very good in Thai language. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> learning some Thai. Yeah, but no, just a few words. It's very hard. It's like me. I came back from Dubai. I was speaking Arabic. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Like that. Coaching so, up, yeah, yeah, all the time. I say, come on, Shabbat, when, come on. When we come to that countries with so hard language, uh, we can realize that English is not so hard as we saw it. <laughs> and yeah, we just go until we die. Mm -hmm. Sorry? And here we just go until we die. Oh, okay. <laughs> How is that count? Hmm? Okay. You stop. need to count. <laughs> no. <sighs> you are doing different movements. Okay. Come on. Now the next one. Just go to a deep squat. Okay. Go as deep as possible. So try to sit down, but don't do it with your feet okay try to keep your feet all the feet yeah. on the floor touching the floor all the time so deep squat if you can do so deep people that are doing with us at home don't worry go until you feel comfortable to you okay but if you can go deep so come on 10 movements like that okay all right let's go i'm gonna count this time Will. let's go okay come on i will count one <laughs> You are pro, man. Two. <laughs> Three. Mm. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. It's much easier when we count, so we'll, let's make sure we count every time. <laughs> I count okay, it. <laughs> now the next movement. Position is like that, okay? Just pay attention first. So with the opposite hand, I try to touch my, my foot, okay? Then I put the hand again and raise the other one. Can you see me? Let me do it like that. So I go right hand, back, left hand right hand back left hand can you understand me yeah. yeah so you move your hip pay attention this position is good to check okay so hip up hip down so keep position so five movement each side all right come on go one two and raise your arm yes again one back the hip in the position two okay all right just one more and now you can change and don't stop Okay. <laughs> Consider it done. No. <laughs> we still have a long way. Now, the next one. Meanwhile, you are getting some rest. I will demonstrate to you. So, lie down. Position. Okay. Knee like that. The opposite hand. I will press the knee. Okay. 
the same time I put pressure with my knee to do this movement, I will avoid with my hand, so it's an isometric position. The other leg, okay, the foot, don't touch, don't touch the floor, and I will do like that. One, two, three, okay, all the time, putting pressure with my hand and with my knee, one against the other, okay? Yes. Come on, Andrea, wait for a moment. Just keep the position and we'll two. Let's do it together. Come on. One. Go. We will, will. Sorry. Stop, stop. Will. Right knee and left hand. All right. Okay. All right. Now, now it's okay. Come on, let's go. One. Will, just you, keep the knee in this position, put your hand, put pressure, the other leg will bend and straight, okay? Yes, right. like that, man. Okay. It's a really good core exercise, first time I do this. All right, stop, you can change now. Okay, let, let me check. And go. Will, you can move your arm too. You can rotate right. with your trunk. Yes. Good. Nice movement, man. People who are following, following us you know, on Instagram, maybe is thinking we are crazy because I'm talking with two, two different persons and on Instagram they can't. They can see the only me and Andrea. There is another guy, another Brazilian actor called Will Santana. We are live both on Instagram, YouTube, and, and Facebook. And uh, unfortunately, you cannot see Will on Instagram, right? Yeah. Okay. Guys, if you want to drink some water, you have 15 seconds, okay? Hydration is important. We're actually getting lots of messages. Uh, we got some on Instagram. There's Isabel from Canada. Isabel did your co or Isabel did your online course, Harrison. Mm. From ah, Isabel from Canada. So she's West watching. Coast, yes. Uh, yeah, we got lots of people here. So of course, I, I remember her. Yes, we have uh, Chana Pat Top. It's the physical coach of Tamasat, the other team that we train at in the same facility. He's with us. He, he doesn't speak uh, too much English, but it's a Thai coach. He's following us. We have here Fabricio Ramos, my athlete here on, on, on Black Pier United. So I'm seeing Anita is online too. So very nice. Come on, guys. Uh, the next stage. Uh, now uh, we will start with some power exercises, okay? Yes. So. <laughs> I will demonstrate first, as always. Initial position, okay? Knee on the floor, okay? Opposite hand, athletic position, straight body. So I will demonstrate very slow. We will do, you will do this exercise, okay? Like that, but jumping, like it. Okay, but to go up, guys, explode. Very explosive movement, okay? To go back to the position, Okay, slow down, you can decelerate, you must decelerate, it's very important. So, it should be like that. One, back slow, two, back slow. Pay attention on my hands helping me with this position. Uh, okay, six movements each side. But let's do it together, okay? Ready? Yep. Go. One. Two. Wait for me and red. Three. Four. Explode. Come on, guys. Straight knee. Five. Six. Okay. Change sides. 
Try to do it in the same position. So I I start and finish in the same the same position. Okay, go one. Come on, do do this. Two. Sorry, uh, Will. Yep. Three. Yes. Change fast quickly your arms. Four. Good and rare. Five. And six. Okay, very nice. You can get some rest. We have another set like that, okay? Just the same, but 20, 30 seconds resting. Let's check. Yeah, I wonder if people at home are actually training or just watching us. Because if you're just watching us, we're gonna just start talking crap. So yeah. <laughs> if you're just watching us next time we do a live just chatting, I want to see you guys training. Yes, okay. I bet you all of these guys to do it. <laughs> I wanna see guys, uh, just a, just a tip to to you both. Okay, so it's very important, like we are talking about generating power, so the concentric movement, it means when I'm going up, should be very fast and with strength and power. So it's different to do like a strength exercise like that, okay? And do it with explosion. So one, back slow. Two, back slow. Now, the same six repetitions, but no interval. As soon as you touch your knee on the floor, you depart again. Okay, and you back yeah. slow and depart again. So, six movements in a row generating power. Come on, let's, let's check. Ready and go, go, guys. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, stop and change again. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't change legs, Will. Come on. Yes, like that, man. Back in the same position. Good, good. Yeah. All right. Are you sweating, Andre? Oh, I'm missing my time. That was just coaching, man. Uh, <laughs> you forget to, to switch on the air conditioner, man. <laughs> it's five degrees here. Yeah. I'm still sweating. Yes, but it's not like not like in Thailand. Here is hot all the time. It's impressive, man. Okay. The next one, guys, it's the jump squats. Okay, it's another uh, drill involving uh, strength and power. Um, if you are able to do this type of exercise, you can add some, some type of weight to, to put some overload, okay? Like a kettlebell, a dumbbell, uh, a barbell, or things like that. Uh, I will demonstrate only with my body weight, all right? So, you can put your hands like that. Not now, it's just to, to demonstrate for you and people who are following us. So, you do a squat, but this time it's not necessary to do a deep squat, okay? Don't do it, just half squats and off, like that. And then explode jumping, okay? Jump doing a triple extension, hip, knee, and ankle, okay? So, and finish at the same position. I will demonstrate like that. So, triple flexion, okay? Hip, knee, and ankle. And it's triple extension. Look to my ankle as I finish the movement like that, okay? The position of my feet is just like that. So I don't I don't jump like doing it, okay? Bending my knees. So straight leg. And finish here. Okay? So okay. to start, you do one movement and stop. Another movement and stop. Don't do continue, okay? All right, All right let's All right. go. Squat and go. Two. 
Okay. Three. Stop, stop. Will, when you finish the movement, reset, get to the initial position, okay? All right. And then you do like a coin, you, a coin, like you do the, concent mm -hmm. the centric movement and then concentric. So, mm -hmm. you start like that and then slow and explosion, okay? And then right. reset. Okay, continue. Okay, we have six now. Ten movements, please. Ten movements, ten movements. Four more. Very nice. Come on, man. Explode, explode. All right. Get some rest. So... While you are getting some rest, Andre, and will, as I said, you could, uh, if you are able to do exercise like that, you could overload in this exercise, but not too much load, okay? So usually we calculate between 10 and 20% of our own body weight. So if I'm 100 kilos, uh, I can put between 10 to 20 kilos more. But of course, uh, this is an indication that usually on my teams, I can control it better because I test my, my players before and they are pros. So if you are doing it at home and you are not used to do it, don't put uh, any type of, of weight of overload. Just use your body weight. Yes, of course. In this case, you pick, imagine this is the kettlebell perfect, Andre. Imagine this is the kettlebell. You put the kettlebell between your knees, okay? So you do like that and explode with your elbows straight. Yes, like that. This is what we can about next. Yes. Okay, let's do one more set. All right. Ready? And Ready. go. One. Okay, reset. Two. Reset. Three. Stop. Andrea. Uh, between one repetition and other, maybe you, you are thinking the next one. And don't forget to finish the movement properly. It means after the jump, I should land properly, bending my knee, my hip, and my ankle, okay? To avoid the impact to be so high and to protect your body. You can continue, come on. Until 10, go. Perfect, Andrea, like that. Good movement, Will. I'm enjoying. Good, man. Good triple extension. Come on, Ray, let's check. Awesome. Okay. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay, guys, you can drink some water. It's important hydration. We, get, we have lots of guys that want to learn more ball conditioning for futsal. Harrison has an online course. The course is in the description of this video on Facebook and YouTube. So if you want to learn more, click on the link and you can do the online course, guys. Thank you, Matt. <clears throat> Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. You have some time to, to get some rest. Meanwhile, I can demonstrate to you the next one. So now the next one, should, it, it will be the lateral skater plus one jump. So actually the movement is like that. If I will depart from to my right side, I start with my left leg, okay? I will do very slow. So I transfer one, two, and then three, land with both legs, okay? Again, now to the other side. Start with my right leg, doing to my right side. So one, 
two, and then three. Okay? Now, uh, it should be like that. I will try to you three repetitions, okay? Very slow, just to, to learn the movements, and then we can do it faster. Okay, let's go. Both with me. Okay, go. One, and stop. Two. Now, from here, jump. Three. Okay, one more time. Let's check. Go. One, two, and three. Yes, like that. It's very important, guys, using coordination, okay? Just one more. Slow like that. Making pause. Go. One, two, and three. Perfect. One information for you. Uh, people who like to play futsal, football, uh, this lateral movement, when I'm putting pressure, pressure on the floor like that to make the jump, is very important about multi-directional capacity. So, quad speed, change of direction speed that we use a lot during a game. So, we go here and go there in a very quick movement. So, we are trying to generate power and in a specific way. So, now it will, it will be like that. So, one, two, three. Okay? So, one, two, sorry, opa. So, one, two, three, and finish the movement, okay? All right, let's go. Come on, one, two. Yes, six movements. After landing, you can get some rest, okay? It's not necessary to start so fast. Come on, let One, two, three. And land, yes. Okay. Okay, only six, only six, I think, just one more, come on, okay, Good. are you enjoying, Will, yeah, how are you feeling, tired feeling or good. feeling good, uh, I can tell a little bit tired, uh, two weeks been locked down, not exercising much, okay, yeah. so it's, you can get some ideas to, to keep doing, keep Keep, uh, you can continue your training sessions at home. Of course, Definitely. it's just an idea, a general idea, because uh, as, as a personal trainer or, a, per, or a, a coach that used to train uh, people in an individual mode, uh, I always have to check a lot of information, but uh, now uh, it's just to, to, to give a general idea to you. Okay, yeah, guys, definitely. just one more set like that. Six repetitions, so three each side. Just remember, imagine the floor is burning, so I can't put my floor too much time. Otherwise, I will burn my feet, or all, all right? My foot, so like that. So one, two, three, okay? Very quick. One, two, three, all right? Do you prefer it a little bit short steps or long steps and a little bit slower? Of course, uh, if you do long step, you, maybe you generate more power. But uh, I can realize that you, uh, maybe your room is not big enough. So don't worry about that. The most important for me is this, uh, this transfer uh, should be very quickly. All right. Come on, you can, can start. Remember, after finishing, you can get some air, five seconds, and then do it again. Okay, one, two, three. We will don't forget to land and do this movement, okay? Triple right. flexion, 
and decelerate the movement. What a pleasure, Andre. We have Lucas Crew, our master is here. No way. Uh, come on, Lucas. Join, join us and teach something special for us. Lucas is going to do 25 training sessions today in 24 hours. Yes, uh, I don't know. I, I, this guy is crazy. <laughs> I don't think he, he can sleep or, or get some rest. But he's actually playing futsal as well. His season will start soon. He's training, mm -hmm. he's probably training yes. three times a week. He's in Germany right yeah. now, no? Germany. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. One minute to get some rest, drink some water. And now we finish the power drills. And we will do a lot of kind of some more strength drills now. Just using body weight. My great friend Thiago, uh, great physiotherapist from uh, AFC Kairat from Kazakhstan, is joining us right now. Uh, my friend, big hug to you. I miss you so much. Thiago is very bad luck in, in the Champions League. Uh, yes, but Kairat is doing very well. Very well. Okay, guys. Now, uh, you can lose use a chair or other object or not okay it's up to you i will demonstrate with a chair okay and without here is just a uh, kind of uh, some reference point for for us okay so i will start the movement like that and then i it's not necessary to touch okay only if you lose balance and then back to the position okay go there just to like a guideline for me okay but i can do the same don't use in a chair okay just like that go change and then back to the position change and back to the position okay <clears throat> the single leg that lift okay andrea let's start together okay all right let's go okay Sorry, position and go. And back, go and back, and you can continue, okay? Go there and back. Don't go too far, Will. Just keep your balance, man. Ten movements, guys. That we are not doing at the same time is a little bit hard to control both. But when you finish ten, you can change side. So it's a good one for the hemis. Will you try not to go so fast? Okay. So, auto -control. auto control is important. So, go a little bit slow and back. Okay. okay. Slowly and back. Right? Yes, man. Like that. Keep your balance. Only if it's necessary, you can put the other foot on the floor. Okay? So, we can improve the proprioception and balance too. And of course, Activating a lot of hamstrings. All right, like that. Very good, Andre. Hey, Harrison, how do you compare the fixed level of the uh, the Thai players to the Italian ones? Sorry, I didn't yeah, understand. Yeah. How do you compare the, uh, the fitness level of the Thai players with the, with the Italian players? Uh, the Thai players with the Italian uh, is kind of different because he, here um, they don't use to, to, to do strength training. 
uh, my team, for example, uh, the last year, they didn't uh, do strength training a lot, just a few times during the season, and uh, they are not used to. Uh, making a comparison about the, the, the body weight and the, the Asian people, especially in this zone, the Southeast Asia, they are used, they are thin and taller, and they are very quickly and faster than Italian players but they are not so strong. Uh, so here, it's kind of strength and power. Uh, I will have more problems talking about, generally talking, I will have more problems about strength and power than in Italy. Uh -huh. But on the other hand, they are like, to, if you propose like a game, like moving a lot, uh, changing positions, like is futsal, uh, this kind of, uh, of player here in Asia, they, they take some advantage. Nice. Okay, just one more set like that, man. Come on. Don't hurry. Like that, Will, like that. You're doing good. Better than, than, than the first set. <clears throat> I know sometimes if you never did this exercise before, to keep the balance yeah. is hard. The, the mode of controlling is not easy. Uh, and maybe you feel one side more difficult than other. It's like, it's like that. It's perfect like that. Let's try the other side now. I always say if people are doing it at home, pay attention on the TV, please. <laughs> if the TV in your back, don't do it. Yes, knee up, man. Come on, Will. Oh, okay. That's not easy. Not easy. Not easy, I know, I know. <laughs> Everybody thinks mm. it's a lot of stretching on your calves and legs. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> you feel, you feel all, all the posterior, uh, the posterior the chain, you feel a lot, you know, not only hamstrings, yeah. but as you said, calves, gluteus, and you activate a lot. Of course, guys, we have a lot of progressions and regressions talking about that. You, you could you use for the same intention, for example, the Romanian deadlift with a barbell, you know, uh, you, we could progress using a kettlebell, like putting some overload, so a kettlebell in my hand and yeah. using some type of overload. So it's depending, of course, of the level of each one. So, as I said, just to, to give you uh, a general idea of a training session. All right? Let's go to the, to the next one. Okay? You have a mini band, right? Yeah. Okay. Should I get a light one or a really heavy one? Okay. okay uh, put in this position above the knees. Okay? This position. All right, you can lie down in this bench your knees on 90 degrees. So you will stay in this position and open, okay? Your leg like that, okay? 10 movements. Now for gluteus and all the, the lateral chain. Drink some water. Okay. Go. You can go. Ten movements. Let's 
Okay, now you can change and start with the other side. Here you go. Come on, guys. Until 10, and then you can get some rest. Oh. Let me check some messages here. Oh, my friend, Luis Claudio. Okay, guys, you can start again. The same exercise. Pay attention. Knees bent on 90 degrees all the time. Yes. The predominance of the movement is on the hip. So it's not a trunk torsion. Only moving, doing a hip abduction. Just like that. Oh. Well, your type of mini band is different from there. Andre is made from latex, so is Andre has the possibility to to move a little bit far because the the latex allows it. Yours, I I know this type of mini bands is not so elastic. And I can't feel my right side is actually weaker than my left. <laughs> I can feel some re regret from 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 Will's part, Andre. What do you think? If it, uh, this guy has invited me, I don't know if it, if it was a good idea. No regret. And if you invite me next time, I'll be here, I'll be better. Okay. <laughs> hey, we, we awesome. Guys. awesome. Hey, should I have a futsal ball? I say maybe not today, man. Maybe today is with Harrison. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Okay, guys, do you have a chair or yeah. some type of bench? Let's change the exercise. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, the next drill you just put one foot on the floor. Okay, now you, you should just go stand up and sit down, okay, on the same leg. Straight knee and back is low, touch on the chair and then do it again. So like that, okay. You can use coordination movements if you want or if you feel more comfortable, just both hands together, okay, like that. Okay, 10 movements. Uh, sit down, Andrea, please sit down. Okay. You both together. Ready? And go. One. Go up, sit down. Two. Touch the chair and go up. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. <laughs> Just a moment, uh, especially Will. Uh, Andrea, if you can change your position, because uh, on the next set I can check it. Um, with you too. Will, when you are going up, you are doing a lot like that. Your knee is going to the middle. 
avoid this okay. movement, okay? You you used to to call it like dynamic valgus, you know. So try to keep your knee on the same position, okay? Facing the camera all the time. So go like that and back. Go like what that do, what do, and back. What, you are doing do like you, that, you know. You go in the middle and back. So avoid this movement, please. What do you record? Uh, the, the feet on the ground close to the chair or a little bit away? The feet? No, no, more close, closer to, to, to the chair. Yes. Okay. But in, the, in a position that you can feel comfortable, okay? It's like a... Come on, a, let's a, go. A, yes, like that, André. Okay, come on, go. <laughs> <laughs> Not so easy, my friend. No, nah, not at all. Yes, like that. Very nice, Andre. Very good movement. Good motor controlling. Come on, Will. Come on, Andre. Stop talking. <laughs> us, uh, us. You're okay. the actor here, brother. He has some excuses. He's gonna see the fear. Ah, I got it. <laughs> let's, let's come back to here. Okay. We have a question here, Harrison. Quickly, while we, while we rest, Do, uh, okay. he's asking if we we begin to train with power drills and, and now it's strength drills. Yes. So uh, it's depending always on your priority. Uh, after warm up, uh, you can do power, power drills. Uh, if you do a good warm up, of course, a properly warm up, uh, preparing for it. As, as I did, we start with mobility drills and then dynamic warm up and then some power exercise because you have more energy. After, after the sprint training, maybe you could be tired and to do the power exercise, maybe you cannot do uh, good movements, you know? For me, the most important is not only generate power, but good quality of movements. Uh, usually with my athletes, for example, many times I, I, can, uh, I can tell to them, do one set of 10, for example. But I, I, if I realize that after seven, eight movements, they are not doing good movements, okay, you can stop. For me, it's most important not only generate power, but do good movements uh, to try to mastering that movement. So uh, if and, uh, the, we have the, your priority, question. as in this case, is uh, power instead of strength, do power first, okay? In the, in the end of the season, it's not a good idea. It's not impossible to do it. I'm not saying that's wrong, but in uh, the end of the season, after you, you are tired, after a, a neuro um, a muscular uh, stress uh, is not a good idea. And then he means yeah, how to improve stamina. But stamina, anything that you you pump up your 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 heart is going to improve your stamina. Really, anything that you elevate the the heart rate, you know. Yes. Uh, no. The, the focus of this session today is more about strength and power. We have a, a very short type of about conditioning in the end, but it's not the focus of the of the, the, the training session uh, for today. So it's all depending on your goal and, and what you want to do. So uh, for today, we are focusing more on strength and power. Come on, guys, let's do the second the second set because too much time resting is not a good idea. You can start, Will. Come on, go. Attention uh, with the dynamic valgus, as I said before. Sit down slowly, Will. Not so fast, nope. okay? Try to control. Try to control the returning movement. Oh, attention. Oh, 
Oh. Will, maybe for you, uh, a good regression should be put uh, a little bit higher the bench, okay? So you could add some coach or some, some mattress to put the bench a little bit higher and uh, maybe... Uh, a baby kit. Yes, maybe something like maybe it's too much, but check, check like that. Maybe ah, it's a good there. idea. Okay. Oh. Oh, now it's easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good tip for people who are that's fallen. Yes. Yeah. That's yes, because w when the bench is not is too short, you know, it's hard to to control the movement, and it depends always on the, how tall each one is. Ah, that's the thing. I wasn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, touch your bum and go up, man. Yeah. Touch up. Okay, okay. Okay, nice. guys. Let's do one more with the bench or the chair. So, of course, we need a strong bench or chair, okay, to, to support our body weight. And then you put all the foot, okay, on the chair, not only half foot, all the foot, okay? Opposite hand here, and then I go up, okay? And back. Go up and back. Just like that, okay? All right. Hey, now you keep your, you keep your seats high now, oh, uh, Will. <laughs> now, now, now it's the opposite. No, it, it's a good information because now it's the, the opposite. Um, yeah. If you add more uh, objects or, or things like to put higher, it will be harder to, to do the exercise. So um, it should be the opposite. It should be a progression, not a regression. Go. Let's yeah. go, guys. 10, ten repetitions. Andrea started first. So. You can count your own repetitions. Sorry. Yes, complete the movement. Straight knee. Very nice. Back slow to the starting position. Some music now where we go. Let's focus up here. Okay. Will, um, just for you, one information, you are putting your, el your elbow la open like that. Try to close and move your elbow close to your body, okay? To improve your coordination. Because during running, while you are running, you are not running like that, okay? You run like that. So, the same. You are doing the movement here and you are... Let me do the other side. You are doing like that, okay? You are doing open your elbow like that. No. Keep your elbow like close to the, your body, okay? Always like that. All right. Okay, guys. Just one more set like that. Let's go. Yep. The same.
Ben. Okay, coordination is important all the time. Think about the opposite side, arms and legs, always working in opposite sides. Okay, guys, very nice. You can please remove the chair or the bench. Okay, uh, now I just want to demonstrate it and you will practice uh, one uh, example of a conditioning exercise. You can do it in the end of the training session, but as I said before, it depends always on the focus of the training session. If I want to improve cardio, I can put it on the beginning and not on, on the end of this, the training session. If I want to improve strength training, I do strength training before. So depending always and on what I'm focusing, all right? So now you do the, the high skipping, it means the position of the knee, on the same height of the the hip okay so now guys do as much repetitions as you can on 20 seconds and then i will give to you 20 seconds of resting and then again 10 sets of that okay let me um organize my my watch my stopwatch just for a moment hey will you heard it right here. 10, huh? 10. Just two more, just two more time, just to have a look. So, so, it should be like that, okay? So, All right. skipping like that, okay, for 20 seconds, all the time, arms and legs coordinated, okay? 20 seconds rest, and then again for 10 times. Carlo, no excuses. No excuses, man. Uh, <laughs> come on, attention, ready, go. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Use your arms. Use, like, yes, like that, like that, Will. Like that, Will. Coordination, good coordination. Very good, very good, André. Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Like that, like that, like that. Very nice movement. Okay, stop. Stop. 20 seconds resting. And then, again... We could do with ropes, jumping ropes, okay? With treadmills, doing interval training with a bike. You know, there are a lot of ways to improve conditioning. Okay, ready? Go, go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Come on, guys, don't stop. Stop. Oh. Okay, get some rest. I heard no stop. I heard no stop. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> but it was before. No. <laughs> oh. Attention. Go, go, go. The third one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Will. Don't give up, man. Never. We are already there. Go, go, go. Go, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on.
High knees, high knees all the time. High knees, come on, come on, guys. Pop. All the 20 seconds. Sorry for inviting you, Sorry for inviting you to this mm -hmm. live. <laughs> Come on, Will. One more. One more. Come on. No excuses, man. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, stop. <laughs> We have only three, right? What? Where to go? You have done only three, right? Four. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I sure. Don't know. What are you counting, man? <laughs> okay, one more. Go, go. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Come on, come on. Keep, keep doing a good pace, good pace, like before, like you did before. Come on, come on. Good pace is important. Stop. Of course, people who is following us at home, uh, there are a lot of ways I can do, for example, 20 seconds and rest 40 seconds. So depending on my level, my, my if I'm in shape, or not in my, my cardio conditioning at the moment. So uh, I can play with this, uh, this situation. So do 20 seconds and 10 seconds rest if I, I, I want to improve a little bit more. So a lot of ways to, to play with it, with that. One more, one more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Okay, stop. People who's following us can print screen and share on, on your social media. And you can see just on the bottom here, our profiles on Instagram. <clears throat> yes, Manuela, you, you're talking about Tabata. Yes, the focus is on conditioning, improve conditioning. Yes, kind of resistance, of course. As I said before, I don't know. Uh, if you could you could listen to me just one moment come on guys come on guys i'm talking too much come on come on go 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 20 seconds go go as i said before you can play with that okay 20 seconds like it like they are doing 20 seconds doing the, the drill and 20 seconds resting 20, 10, 20, 15, 20, 40, it depends always. Stop. And depends always of the energy system that I want to develop. If I want more anaerobic let, for example, I could do 40 seconds more time and then reduce the, the interval or keep the interval like on 20. It depends on the energy system that I want to improve more. All right, here we go. Come on. Go, guys. Go, guys. Come on, come on. I will not promise to you an ice cream like children. You know? There is no ice cream after the training session. Only water. Okay, stop. Eric Santiago, Leo Gaspar. I hope you guys following that and doing the same. Okay. I know you guys there. All right. Oh, Mari, Mari sent the text here. Will, uh, on my count, only four to go, right? How only four to go to finish. Ten in total, as I said. I promise three, you ten. Three or, three or two. Are you sure? 
Oh, sure. We've done, we've done 11 already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more, one more, guys. Come on, come on. One more. Go, 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 go. High knees, Andre. High knees. Come on, guys. Come on. Good, good coordination. Good movement, man. Good movement. Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on. All right, stop. <laughs> Simonov from Russia. Following us. Very nice. People from Russia. All Blacks BR. Following, following us too. Yeah, we are the All Blacks here in Sydney. Mm -hmm. That's my team. Ah, yeah. okay. Very nice. Big hug to you guys. All the best. All the best. Okay, Will, you are talking too much, man. One more. Go, go, Me? go, go, go. Let's go, Carlos. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> These guys don't know how to count, man. <laughs> Stop. Okay, just one more to go. <laughs> just one to finish. Come on. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Go. All right. Let's go. The last one. The last dance, man. Go, 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 go. Okay, stop. All right, guys. <laughs> Are you okay, Will? Yeah. It's still alive. Okay. Uh, another good discussion. People are always asking, oh, uh, what about the um, stretching after the, the training sessions? Okay, uh, the scientific literature says uh, nowadays that um, as we, we thought before, we think before, uh, that it, there was a time that we, we, you used to do a lot of stretching, uh, static stretching before and after training session. Action, actually, uh, to prevent injuries, it's not a, a good idea if you think on injury prevention, but range of motion, yes, is very, very important. So I strongly recommend mobility drills and dynamic stretching. But it's kind of, if you feel good doing some stretching after the training session, I'm, I'm not saying to you, oh, don't do because that's scientific literature is saying and things like that, but try not to do too much uh like it's so intense it's intense static stretch all right uh, but it, it's not really necessary to do all the time but if you are using to uh to do exercising uh regularly during the week uh, to dedicate one session to flexibility a week it's a good idea it's a very good idea so you can do like jogging uh for 15 minutes or uh, low low impact activity for 10 to 15 minutes and then focusing on stretching, static stretching once a week. So this, I, I think it's a good idea, but not after a strength power session, especially. Um, for me, it's, it's not uh, so important, but I respect who can tell me, for example, Harrison, I feel good doing it. So, uh, so you, can, you can keep your routine uh, with no problem about that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, people who is following us and also you, Andre, and Will about the, um, physical condition in general, in general strength training, something that, that can help you, it's my pleasure to, to, sure, to try to answer. And... Sandra. 
I'll let you go first, Will. Oh, I just had to say thank you. It was a great session. I'm not in my best condition at all at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I feel feel good. I feel happy that I complete successfully. And I <laughs> oh, exhausted. No, actually, it it was not a kind of session to kill you. And uh, of course, I, I don't follow you um, during during the month, during the the year. So uh, it's just a demonstration to the to the people who is following us. So uh, you did very well, guys. Uh, I'm Thank very you. happy. Well, well, as a question you, here, we can manage other session in the future with maybe a, a kind of harder session if you can support or not. I give to you some type of training to prepare yourself and uh, it was a pleasure too yes of course why not mm. manuela has a, a question here uh do you do mm -hmm. this type of training mainly in the pre-season or do you do during the season as well no no manuela it's depends. Uh, i can train for example i i used to train online some some players some pro players uh not only my my team here in thailand i used to train some plays in, in thailand uh, sorry in, in italy spain and also brazil and canada and they are pro, except for one that's an, an amateur uh, player. And they they used to follow their program with their teams. And of course, I used to to try to understand what they do in their team to try to to adapt my my routine to them. And I used to do this type of training, but of course not a full training like that because they they used to train with their teams. But uh, if it's not the case. You can use a training session like that during the season with no problem. Depending always uh, in in which moment of the competition you are, uh, what's your your goal for this moment, you know. But uh, it's not only for the preseason. Uh, How, How, How many times a week so, do you recommend to, to have a training like that? Like twice at a least, week? Uh, like two two three times a week, of course. If you train every day, for example, from from Monday to Friday or from Monday to Saturday, it's all important to have at least one day to get some rest, you know, to, to relax, not to your body, but your mind. Uh, if you train five, six uh, sessions a week, you can uh, divide it, split it. So you can dedicate one day more focus on cardio, other day focus more on strength power. So. Today I did like a, um, a three in one session, more or less like that. So it depends. If you do like that, only uh, if you train only two or three times a week, I recommend do it like that. Try to put a little bit of uh, each capacity or if things that you think is important on the same session. Yeah, hey, so my question. Yeah. Sorry, sorry where you go. No, as, you go. as we mentioned before, I'm an actor. But I, I used to play futsal and field. And do you, what do you think about to, to training like heavyweights? For two, okay. Then uh, you have to play when, when you play when you play on a team sports like futsal and soccer and uh, basketball, okay, in collective games, um, hypertrophy and gain muscles is not the most important thing of course it's important too i'm not saying different but uh be bigger like a bodybuilder you know is not the the, the main the main thing but is uh do strength in training to generate power because we need power a lot in this kind of sports you know to change of direction movements to accelerate and decelerate so the most important thing is train uh is strength training to generate power yeah but you can do uh, you can lift weights too of course but yeah. not with the the focus on be bigger you know to be too big but i'm it, telling it, that i, I cannot say for example ju just for a moment you, uh, we have hook the brazilian player for example he's yeah. very big very strong and he's very uh, uh um Agile, Andre, I forgot the name. He, he can agile. do quick movements, uh, agile, you, you know, and he's fast and he's strong, you know. It, I'm not saying that if you become bigger, you cannot play football yeah. or basketball or things like that. But the most, the goal when we think about strength training for team sport is not to be a bodybuilder, but to do strength training to generate power. 
Good, good. Uh, Harrison, my question is, uh, of course, in the preseason, you evaluate, you test your players. So just quickly, I don't want you to go too deep into this, but uh, what type of tests do you do in the preseason to check how fit your players are? And, and during the season, how often you do these tests? And what tests do you usually do? You don't need to go too deep into each test, but just explain a little bit how you test your players. Yes, I, I don't use to do uh, a lot of tests uh, during the season because we have a problem during competitions to do the tests again is a problem because you are competing and the, imagining a competition that you play every week or even twice a week and to to do a routine of tests during the, the, the season is hard, but it's possible, it's possible. I'm not saying that it is impossible. I prefer that monitoring training load that can give some answers to you, like a, a rate of perceived desertion, uh, like monitoring uh, the heart rate beating using a monitor, of course, you depend on some gears. But about tests uh, on the beginning of the season, I like to do some functional tests, you know, like some functional movement screen uh, to, to check uh, some, some tests involving balance too, like why balance tests is a very nice test. Uh, to check that we we can uh, find some asymmetries or not, you know, some uh, isocinetic test if it's possible too, because to check to compare the muscles from right and left side and the relationship about agonist and the antagonist ratio. Uh, some things are like for people who doesn't study sports science, maybe some language are not so easy to understand. But I, yes, I, I, I used to do some tests on the beginning of the season. The body fat controlling too, it's very important to check about uh, the, body, uh, the body fat. How often do you check the players? Uh, in the first two months, each 15 days, and then after that, uh, once a month. Uh -huh. uh, also, uh, it happened to us last season, Al Nasser. Usually when a player was received a red card or suspended, the fitness coach would get the, the opportunity to test the players. Do you do something similar like that as well? Or when a player... Hey, so it, it's, a, it's a good possibility. It's a good po possibility. Uh, especially if you, you, if you notice that some things happening with that player, something different from the usual, you know? So okay. some asymmetry that you, you should correct or some capacity you should improve and you can test them in this situation. It's a very good idea. Nice. We're not going to carry on here for too long because it's going to an hour and a half and it was made to go for only an hour. But we have a very good question here. LeBron James mm. has a body comparison to any futsal player. So he's a very strong guy. Uh, but he's also very agile. So basketball and futsal, are they similar to similar sports or how would you No, 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 no. I, 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 I worked with basketball too in the past. Uh, both with young players and, and youth players and also with pro players and uh, especially futsal players used to be more agile but of course the dynamic of the basketball play, starting with the court you know you have 28 meters uh, length and futsal court we have 40 meters you know and you play four by four uh, plus the goalkeeper and the dynamic is very difficult different but of course uh, as i said before you can be very strong you can be bigger about have a lot of muscle and you can be agile too uh, the the most the, the biggest example if you think in athletics in track and fields uh, uh specialities like uh, I, I don't know guys like uh, uh ben johnson and carl lewis and lots of that like uh, elena zimbaeva uh, they are really strong, but not, of course, a bodybuilder exactly, but they can generate power a lot. They can be agile. They can be faster. It depends on the sport and your goal, you know. But LeBron James is a, a monster. It's a, it's a great what example is, for all athletes. Is, uh, if basketball training is more advanced than futsal training to improve agility, or uh, there are some similarities. 
on basketball and futsal training, you know, when you think uh, departing from three movements, you know, like we call trincas in Portuguese, you know, uh, to do the, the eight movements. And uh, there are some similarities, but uh, we are talking about different sports. In tactics, we can compare a lot futsal and basketball, but the type of training method is really different because basketball involves too much more uh, vertical jumps, for example, than futsal. And uh, I, I don't think it's more advanced than futsal to increase agility. It depends in what way you think agility. Agility with a ball in hand, agility with a ball in, uh, controlling a ball with your feet, you know, so it's different sports in, in, in these meanings. One, you, right. you play with hands and other you don't. So if you guys are watching there, if you want to ask any last questions very quickly, uh, just while people okay. are asking. Well, uh, we have one more here on Instagram uh, from uh -huh. Thiago Melo. Uh, totally agree, power and speed, improve the acceleration. If we can move from point A to B today in 50 seconds after training 10 seconds, it's that we are looking for. And even more, Thiago, uh, not only about improve speed, because on futsal courts, especially about my sports, okay, it's depending. Uh, on futsal courts, we don't have enough space to progress to maximum speed, to maximum sprints, like in soccer, for example. Uh, a soccer player like Bruno Henrique can range easily more than 30 kilometers per hour. A uh, futsal player, probably, I would say never, but it's very hard because you don't have enough course, space. Man. We do short acceleration, uh, like between 5 to 10, 15 meters maximum. So we generate about 20, 22, 23 uh, kilometers per hour. Uh, so much more important than increased speed is the repeated sprint ability. So this capacity to, to keep the, the good level, not the maximum level, but the good level of the sprint as much as you can during a game without... Yeah uh without cause damage on defense or attack you know what i mean so not not only the increase speeding but keep this all the time during a game because futsal basketball uh, soccer uh, and other sports are intermittent it means we do uh, stimuli and recover stimuli and recover all the time Perfect. Thank you for your, your question, Thiago. Um, uh, we've got Eric, some people asking uh, questions Santiago. on Instagram. Uh, yes, yes, Eric Santiago is saying, last one, which team you guys support? Uh, I'm, I'm supporting, uh, I, I support like a, I'm cheering. He's asking or yeah, what team, team uh, I... For? Which team do you support? Back in Brazil, ah, I suppose. Yeah. Flamengo, Flamengo, Flamengo. <laughs> the national champions. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if, if, if it's the question. I work at Black Blackpool United in Thailand right now. It's a futsal team. Uh, last year, uh, the last four years, I was working in Italy and with the Romanian national team too. But oh, I cheer great. for Flamengo. Will? I'm Palmeiras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the moment, I only wake up to watch Neymar. Sorry, but uh, I'm a Neymar yeah. supporter. I'm not yeah. a club supporter because my yeah. club is a small club from from Brazil, Ponte Preta. So yeah. Ponte Preta. At the moment, Mataca. I just wake up to watch Neymar. Neymar is the only team and club that makes me wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, the only one that was make me wake up was Cristiano Ronaldo. Ah, oh, come oh, on, man! He's the best. He's a machine. <laughs> nice. <Yeah>. Sorry, Neymar, <laughs> but. I can't, I can't make different. <laughs> he is really good, actually. Uh, all right, we, we have a question here, but I'm going to answer just to be quickly, Harrison. Uh, how you prove your condition of food so specific? Edward, unfortunately, you have to buy the online course now because you had your this change. Training. Training. Yeah. You have to okay, I, I, will, I will answer one more. Okay, I will answer one more. Uh, so, yeah. about Edmond, uh, how can I improve my condition of football, food so specific? What's the best training to do? I will answer right now. By conditioning for futsal, from youth to elite seniors, in partnership with the doctor and Marquinhos Xavier. And uh, it, André Carlos will let you the link. It's a full course about that, specific about that. 
Great. And, and it's an awesome course online and you don't have anything to read. Everything full in English, okay? Full English. in English with subtitles. Full in English with subtitles. All right, guys, to finish it off, Will, what's next for your career as an actor? What's uh, coming well, up, if you, if you can't say anything? Yeah, at the moment, I can't say much, but we have some things coming, coming up. I'm really happy with the all the industry here in Australia is getting bigger. And everyone that wants to follow me on Instagram, actor Will Santana, on YouTube and my home page, Will Santana, is going to see some jobs that I have done. Uh, a lot of jobs for the Australia tourism and ads everywhere. I'm doing great. I'm pretty thankful for everything. Awesome. Awesome. And, uh, and any past uh, show that you want to tell us to watch or... Well, if you guys can watch the the other guy season two on Stan, Stan it's like a, a Netflix here in Australia. I am on a season two; it's pretty good. And all the ads, I have some ads on on TV at the moment, and some something comes up soonish. You guys awesome, can see. Awesome. Uh, Harrison, awesome, what's man. next for you there in the season and in, in how much are you looking for no, to the uh, season? We are, we, are in, uh, we are just waiting to, uh, to the starting of the competition. Uh, we just finished our preseason. We are playing some friendly games and uh, just waiting, just waiting to, to start to compete in the beginning of August. If nothing ha different happens, on the 1st of August, the, we will have the kickoff of the, of the championship here in Thailand. Amazing. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna finish this off. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining in. We had uh, we had over forty likes over the period of the of the view. We had over hundred people watching it. I I don't even know the numbers uh, over all the platforms. Thank you so much for everyone that asked us a question. Thank thanks, Will. Thanks, Harrison. I'm Thank sure gonna, we're gonna be doing another one of these one again very soon. Sure. Okay. It was a pleasure, Will. It was a pleasure to meet you, man. Good My luck pleasure. in, Thank in you. your career. I will follow you for sure. Andre, you, you are a brother, a great friend. Thank you for inviting me and people who is following, following us at home. Thank you very much for supporting us and keep safe, man. Just hey, one, more, just one, more, one, more, one more special thanks for, yeah, for Eric it. Santiago. If I'm here because of Eric Santiago from All Blacks. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hey, Harrison, uh, as soon as the Australian borders open, I'm going to bring you to Australia. So just get ready. I'm sure that's a commitment. I, I, I'm just waiting to go. To back to back here because we didn't finish our our, our project no, there, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you, guys.